Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we'll be checking out the DX update to Space Pilot Trainer. This whole video is pretty much the most ambitious recording that I've done so far, I feel like. It just takes so much organization and stuff to just run it. Holy hell, I have to pull some stops to do it. <laughs> the DX aka the Deluxe update basically brings two new modes as a multiplayer to the game. The main focus is the arena where, first of all, you have to have a space to play at least 10 meters by 10 meters, which with knowing my situation and just Paris in general, it's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> like now Nowadays I tend to play on my bed in my 9 meter square apartment. This is gonna be the first time that I'm actually playing full room scale that I have literally nothing around me. It's just me, the game and action. Playing arena is done by doing it online or as a co-located experience, which basic means if you have another person with a headset in your proximity, you're gonna be able to play with that person. Still, you have to have an internet connection, so not every big space will work unless you do like a mobile hotspot from your phone. The other mode is very which essentially it's the same as the single player is just some other person besides you shooting the drones in their proximity and the more you take down the more appear for your enemy. We'll be focusing mostly on this arena mode because it really is groundbreaking on a scale that I don't even know if it's gonna be really successful because you have to have so much going on to play as a successful experience. Having friends with headset helps like I asked my grandma and she said no so she's just gonna be on the sidelines just guarding me to not be run over by cars and playing outside can be tricky there's just a lot of going on but i'm pretty hopeful for this update it's something that breaks out from the mainstream vr gameplay and i like seeing breaking boundaries with possibilities to experience games well i just hope everything works fine i would not be surprised if something goes wrong but i would be pretty pleased if everything will go right at least once in a while see you in the chaos Alright, so we were back in the main menu and I had so much trouble with just setting up the Guardian like I don't know how many tries but it is not easy because the max Guardian for quest anyways is 10 meters so you have to really perfectly line up in this square. We'll see, I mean I have set up everything pretty much it was scheduled to rain so I had a backup of umbrella but we'll see. Have fun and always be aware of your surroundings. Well, I just won't hit the wall, that's pretty much it. Training droids, I think yeah that's gonna be a good idea to just start with that. I guess we basically go to the spot. Right? So this is gonna be just purely for one droid, I think. What is this? Oh no, this is creating. No, no, no. <laughs> We're in the void. Oh, what the? Okay. Oh my god, this is so weird just walking around. I'm so used to... <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> so I used to play in one place. What do I do? Oh, I have to go back, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what happens if I cross, like, the wall? I'm pretty sure I just black out or something. Yeah, so that's a good protection. I'm still subconscious where I'm actually going. This is so weird. <laughs> That's actually my first real room scale like gameplay. I mean, that's how VR is meant to be played. What the hell is he? <laughs> I actually have to touch with my own body. <laughs> oh wait, he has a shield now. Do I have a shield actually? Oh, here we go. Now we won't die that easily. <laughs> Aha, it's timed, okay. Oh wow, now I have to change the respawn point. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll see if there are people playing. Invite people from my friends list, that's for sure. But I didn't see like matchmaking, so which is kinda weird. You can like invite someone to play with, but I don't have anyone, so... <laughs> I think let's just change the map, for example, for this one. Oh my god. <laughs> So you have five maps and then you can edit your own arenas. So we still have versus. What's this? Oh wait. Versus is actually the matchmaking. Okay. Huh? I guess he's here. <laughs> Oh, I can see him, okay. This is pretty boring now. So, I mean, I guess if you don't have like a play space normally, versus would be the mode that you want to play in. And then arena is just to transform your space into something that you can play in and move around freely. I think the only thing that I'm missing is the matchmaking on arena. Because versus has it, but I don't know why arena doesn't. Maybe because every person has different like disponibility if we're talking about the actual space that you play in. But then again, it's just transforming according to what you draw with your guardian. So I don't know, I really like the mode if they will introduce matchmaking because then that just makes sense in terms of just competitive and the fluidity of the whole gameplay. Recording in the field is not for me, I just want to go back to my safe zone. <laughs>